Hi, I'm Amber. I am here at NG Bailey to find out more about apprenticeships in the building services and engineering sector. When we recruit apprentices, what we're looking for is people who are keen uh, on the job. They know a little bit about you know, what, what they're applying for, because a lot of people do apply yeah. and they've no real idea that you see a vacancy. So show that they're interested in the job, that they're enthusiastic. How do they find out about the jobs? Find out about the jobs. We have a website, the NG Bailey website, with our vacancies on, which is usually released around about January time, uh, so people can uh, view that and then identify on there that will de detail what apprenticeships are available. Mm. And then um, what application process would they go through? Right, when they uh, apply to us, so they'll apply, fill the application form online, and um, what happens then, that comes back into our uh, HR shared services, okay. they'll sift the applications because what we're looking for in the advanced apprenticeships is five GCSEs, grade C or above, right. uh, maths and English being one of the two key ones. Uh, if, they, if they're you know, determined to uh, uh, identify that they'll get those qualifications, then what we do, we bring them in for a written test. If they're successful in the written tests, then they'll be interviewed. And again, if they're successful at the interview, a job offer will be made, and then there's an open evening with the parents as well. Right. And then, uh, obviously, they start at the induction, which is round about September time each year. So when um, people are coming from schools, how important is the reference that you get from the schools? Yeah, well, we look at the references uh, along with the you know, predicted GCSE results. Um, references, what we tend to look for is what are they like in class, are they keen, are they enthusiastic, are they disturbing others, that sort of thing. Um, so it's important that we do look at that because even if somebody's got you know, the A results, if they're quite loud and boisterous, then unfortunately they're going to disturb others. Um, so we need a, a good mix of uh, good behaviour, listening skills, and that they're keen, keen to learn. Yeah. On, on the sort of statements where it asks, asks for hobbies and things like that, we want to see people that are getting out there doing things whether it's uh, sports, whether it's with friends, yeah. whether it's hobbies, you know, in bands, things like that. Somebody who's got a little bit of uh, enthusiasm for, for life, basically. Yeah. yeah. And also, on the other hand, what would you say would be bad in applications? Well, when we're looking at applications, short answers, we, we, you know, that doesn't explain a lot about anybody, really. Yes and no, no answers. We want them to uh, give a bit of a full description of themselves. Uh, spelling mistakes, grammar, things like that, because obviously in the new qualifications they've got to write essays, they've got to write portfolio work, and yeah. we need that grammar and spelling to be, you know, accurate. Yeah, and also what kind of questions would you ask people at interviews? Well, one of the key questions that we ask, why do you want to work for NG Daily? Right. Uh, what do you know about the industry? So again, that's about researching before they come to interview, find out a little bit about the company. Yeah. And also, what um, advice would you give to anybody, any young person looking for an apprenticeship? Um, be clear in what they want to do. Um, there's no point in going into an apprenticeship half-heartedly, yeah. because it's a full four-year apprenticeship. If you come out of it halfway through, you lose your government funding to go on another apprenticeship, yeah. and it's hard to get on another apprenticeship. So they need to be clear that it's definitely what they want to do. Commit to it. Uh, make sure that you keep up with your portfolios, uh, your knowledge assignments, your exams yeah. uh, within the qualifications. I know some people when they leave school think that's end of my exams now, great, I've got a job. Yeah. Unfortunately, as the old adage is, it's a lifelong you know, learning. So Kayleigh, um, how did you get your job then? Uh, I went through an initial selection process, so I sent an application form, yeah. got invited for aptitude test um, after that. I came back for a first interview uh, and finally a second interview and then they chose me for employment. So when you applied for the job, how did you prepare for the interview? I researched the company. Um, me and my mum did a bit of backwards and forwards in the interview right. process so I knew what questions I might ask and how I was going to answer them so I didn't yeah. freeze in the interview. Oh, right, so you did prepare them for the interview? Yeah. Do you think that's important? Very important. Yeah. Very important. How many opportunities had you looked at before this or was this the only one? I was really lucky that this was the first one that I applied for. Yeah. Um, but I know it's really hard out there at the moment, so I know I'm lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever look at any different industries, like electrician or anything else? Yeah, I looked at several different routes, um, especially the electrician route. In fact, I applied to NG Bailey to be an electrician, and yeah. I suggested the engineering route. So you were 18 when you started working for NG Bailey. So what made you choose the apprenticeship route as opposed to university? 
Like most young people, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and the natural progression I thought was to do GCSEs, A-levels, and then go to university. But after doing A-levels, I really wanted something that wasn't just theory, I wanted yeah. some practical application, which is why I chose the apprenticeship route rather than university. And um, what do you do in your current job? Um, it varies from day to day. It's yeah. completely different from um, money side of things to the installation side of things. Yeah. To contracting and things like that. Do you like it? Is it quite interesting? Yeah, it's brilliant. It's different every day. What advice would you give to other young women trying to get into the industry? Apply to as many different companies as possible. Yeah. And keep your options open. Okay. And thank you for your time and good looking at the future. Thank you.